Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie's Adon, our man, your host, Dominic or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer, and we are back to another match. Is a ride playing St Spider Factory against Pet Turtle, also on Spider Factory. We're on Wanderlust, a pretty cliffy map, so yeah, Spider Factory does make sense. All the cliffs. So Pet Turtle is we saw last game pretty good, even if they're behind economically early on, so Israel might want to be careful about that. I don't recall Israel being a player that tends to expand massively quickly, but we are seeing already Weaver come out and start to set up expansions. So definitely Israel has that in mind. They definitely want to be ahead on this, but they're also kind of running into some trouble immediately with the fleas coming from Pet Turtle. Israel being slightly discouraged from expanding. Pet Turtle, on the other hand, much more focused on building up their main base. So, Pet Turtle, what are you going to do with this game? I'm really curious. Don't tell me in the chat, mind you. Like, I realize you're watching this right now, so... Like, don't spoil it. Rhetorical question. So, yeah, Pet Turtle going for the three, that plus three expansion. Sorry, Izzeride going for the plus three expansion. Again, we're seeing Izzeride, much like Steel Blue, try to take early economy in a somewhat daring fashion. But we've seen how Pet Turtle deals with this. Like, they are able to win on attrition if they're able to just get enough of an economy to get their army going. And it's, from there, not too hard. And at this point, we actually are seeing a pretty nice little bit of harassment coming in. Getting rid of one of the metal, or one of the wind generators for Izzeride. Not a bad thing to do already, like 2.3, so that does hurt things a touch. They don't have overdrive set up, so it's not a big deal at this stage in the game, but it's not bad. Same time, Pet Turtle rebuffing his ride's attempts to harass just because that's what the Lotus is for. And Pet Turtle again expanding a little bit more safely. Whereas his ride again going for the more risky expansion. They are terraforming it down into the ground, which I like. That is a good move. Not a great move because spiders don't care, but it, it will be nice later in the game when artillery is a relevant thing. Which is why we're seeing people terraform the, the stuff. It's essentially another form of defense. Pet Turtle, however, double check and see if there's anything worth harassing. Is a ride not really expanding all that much over to the northwest. They have really not set all that much up just because, like I said, they're focused in the center. They're focused on the super valuable expansions. And then maybe working from there with the territory they've had, the influence they have. The fact that from here they can kind of project influence all the way around here pretty well. And so they're taking advantage of that. Same time, Izzeride still also knows when Petrol is expanding out, or at least can potentially know. Not sure if they're totally aware, and it looks like they are. Yep, they are. They know what's happening. So a decent amount of information. While Pet Turtle, they do have that Sparrow, and that Sparrow is finding out useful things. It's... No, he knows the factory. He knows a lot of expansions of... Or a lot of expansion locations, expansion directions, that kind of thing. So Pet Turtle... Yeah, actually a pretty good spot to set up for harassing. Unfortunately, did not scout this Lotus. These fleas are not going to have a very good time right now. But, wait, no, hang on. That's Izzeride's fleas. Ugh, wow, I'm sorry. I'm confused. Pet Turtle is red. Izzeride is teal. Let's get that straight. But, regardless, Pet Turtle... Yeah, they know there's stuff to harass over to the northwest. They know that it's vulnerable. They don't have any fleas coming in there to try to deal with it themselves. They could do that, but it looks like they're instead focusing on Venom Redback. They're trying to get their mid-game army going. Well, early mid-game army going. That holds true for Izzeride as well. I, although, that being said, Pet Turtle already with that red back, and they should be able to take out the Metal Extractor if they decide to. I mean, again, spiders deal with cliffs. This is not a problem. But they seem to be far more concerned, as I suggest they should be, with taking care of this Weaver. As I always say, go for the Constructors first. It becomes way harder to rebuild. Like, Metal Extractors are cheap. They're easy to rebuild. Constructors take a while to walk in where they need to be, but it's not going to happen. Izzeride already prepared for this, has the Lotuses up to make sure the red back cannot do the damage. Still, I like Pet Turtle's thinking. That is the way to go. I also kind of like the Pet Turtle's trying to find a way to get through not being spotted by the Lotus in time, but unfortunately for them, it is not quickly enough. Another red back coming in along the bottom of the map, but again, two Lotuses, it's just two Lotuses too many. Actually, one Lotus might be fine. Might be one Lotus too many. A couple of Redbacks can take out a Lotus. And a Venom alongside them is actually going to be quite effective. Although, are we going to see Recklesses? And we are going to see Recklesses. So a good army coming in from Pet Turtle. They do have a slight disadvantage economically, but not enough to be a big concern. On the other hand, Izzeride going for Mass Flea, which I do not agree with. Your opponent is going for Mass Redback. Going for Mass Flea is going to get you killed. Oh, Pet Turtle pointing out that they saw the hole, but not the mechs. Interesting. I didn't realize it could go deep enough that you could actually not spot the mechs. I guess the Sparrow was just at the wrong angle. I just thought you'd actually send a unit down there just to double check, because if there's a hole in the ground, there's probably a mechs, and it doesn't cost you much time to check it. But fair enough, the 
attacking the worker or attacking the constructor was definitely a good choice. Unfortunately, the attack in the Lotus, not so good. Giving Israelite a lot of metal to work with. They do lose a Lotus. They won't lose the second one. Or they will. Never mind. They will lose the second one. Actually, they will lose both. That was that, that worked out. All right, just barely, but it did work out. Redback able to get rid of everything in this base. Wipe, wipe out the constructor. Wipe out the defenses. Same time, though, the fleas coming in, harassing over to the south side and in the north. Redback's over to the north, taking out a lot of what Petrol has in revenge. And the fleas over to the south, trying to do some damage, but not finding anywhere near as much value. Still, though, the two Redbacks are doing a great job, and that, to me, is the key. Same time, though, Pet Turtle is just having a tough time. They've lost several metal extractors, lost a lot of territory. Ezeride putting a great deal of pressure on everything. Despite the fact that Ezeride lost this northern expansion, Ezeride has still been expanding over to the south. They've been expanding over into their main base, getting a lot of overdrive, overdrive energy structures, overdrive solar collectors, or wind generators, not solar, blah. Overdrive wind generators to bump up their economy as well. Pet Turtle, on the other hand, they don't really have much in the way of overdrive. They do have the Geo Plant, which they could pile on out into the rest of the base. So once the Geo Plant comes out, Pet Turtle will be in a better position economically, but it, they still lost a lot. The rebuild's happening, but it's been a minute. Izzeride has, a, has much more to take advantage of as a result. And there's Pet Turtle coming in and losing a, potentially several recluses to the Fleas. Redback comes in to save the day. One Reckless does go down, but at least the rest of them will survive. That leaves Pet Turtle on the back foot, though, as more fleas will be coming in from Izzerai, trying to deal more damage to these groups, to, these, to the skirmishers as they're going out. And over to the south side of the map, Pet Turtle at least able to keep their economy going reasonably well, but Izzerai ahead by 10 metal per second. While we do know Pet Turtle can be very strong at dealing with their opponents, even from an economic disadvantage, this is not a great position. Again, Izzerai's only main weakness right now is a mass army of fleas, which the Redbacks will deal with. Same time, Pet Turtle with 30 production. Izzerai with plenty. Like, both players do have all the production they have, so Izzerai is taking advantage of their 20 metal per second advantage. That's the one thing. Pet Turtle doesn't have that to work with. Like, they are on the... They are at a disadvantage. And it really just comes down to whether or not they can break through something. Like, take, get rid of some of Izzeride's army in a way that's safe. Like in a way that is attrition positive for Pet Turtle. At the same time, I kind of like the surround here. Izzeride's commander over to the south side of the map. They could get attacked. It's a bit risky by Pet Turtle, but potentially could happen. The bigger risk, though, is Pet Turtle going away from that army in order to avoid getting killed. And now that's opening everything up. More Redbacks coming into the base. More Fleas able to come in and deal loads of damage. Once the Redback gets rid of the Lotus, the Fleas will have nothing to stop them. As long as they can survive long enough to get... There it is. They survived long enough. That gets rid of another Weaver. Gets rid of more Metal Extractors. Pet Turtle again falling behind to Harassment. Pet Turtle deciding this time, go for a counterattack. Going for it with five Recluses, one Redback, and a lot of gumption because there's still no easy way for this force to deal a lot of damage, but there are some ways. These Metal Extractors are quite vulnerable. The ones down here could be taken out by the Recluses before it becomes a problem. However, Pet Turtle splitting out because they need to have some forces on defense already. They're still, they still have an army in their back lines. Their backyard is still wide open. And while the Redback's able to get rid of fleas that are coming in to try to take out the Recluses, the Recluses have been destroyed by the Crabs, and Pet Turtle about to lose their center expansion to the Crab as well just makes it seem like they have no real options. The north side has been taken by Izrad, retaken by Izrad, with holes dug, just to be sure. South side, no holes, or one hole dug, but not much. But then again, there's that assault. There's the Redback Crab coming for defense. But it may not be enough. The Redback's coming in, the Rex is coming in, the Crab is going to have a very difficult time doing much. And the counterattack from Pet Turtle is risky. Again, three Lotuses. There is an opening. There is a possibility, but it's going to be tough. So I don't know. I'm really not sure. What I do know is that Pet Turtle, they have three quarters of the economy. They have a third of the map, and they have a pretty desperate situation on their hands. Having lost the Redback, the Fleas are able to come in here. These Recklesses will not have much choice but just a retreat. And at the same time, again, over to the main base, Pet Turtle finally able to rebuff Izzeride's assaults, but Izzeride, once again, still has their army to work with. Redback, however, is up. Actually, just further back. And another Lotus could go down. 
If all the lotuses go down, that is an opening. In fact, as is, they don't even have to. Petrodal going around the back instead, avoiding all of the lotuses, and just hunting around where they aren't. That is a clear shot to the main base. It's going to be a little bit risky, but they if they pull it off, it'll be great. However, it's a question of whether they pull it off while not losing their main base. The Crab and Redbacks coming in here are still providing a massive amount of pressure, making it almost impossible for the Reckless to find much purchase. Granted, the Crab can't move too much at this point without dying, so there is that. But even with that, the Backyard Assault from Pet Turtle, while it is doing a lot of damage, it's not taking care of the forces up front. But with the forces up front having been rebuffed somewhat, still not enough. The Backyard Assault... Did some damage, got rid of a couple of metal extractors. Weakened Izzerides force a little bit, but Izzerides, they've got the map. They lost three metal extractors. They still have about 15, they have still about 10 at least, or no, hang on. Still have about 15. Izzerides, fine. They have got nothing to worry about right now. Pet Turtle, it's just slow attrition. They're gradually grinding away, trying to find something, anything to make it work. I just don't understand where they can find that last bit. The, the crab again in the front lines, I can sort of see it, but Izzeride's army... I mean, it's still reasonably well prepared for this. The crab being repaired by the Weavers, so all that earlier damage completely nullified, while at the same time Pet Turtle with no defenses around theirs. This is going to be advantage Izzeride. They have healing, they're going to win the attrition fight. Flea's coming in to deal a bit more damage to those crabs. Actually, not a bad idea. If he gets rid of the Weavers, that could turn things around once again. The crab is still weak on Izzeride's side. But Izzeride with their own fleas coming to counter in, also with their own crab with the splash damage, because why not? Izzeride able to prepare it. Nice reaction with the Lotus. Nice reaction with the Terraform and the crab, too, to get the extra range. So, again, Izzeride just running circles around Pet Turtle as Pet Turtle looks to find some way of getting themselves into a reasonable position, but their commander now threatened. They're going to have to pull back with that as well. The fleas trying to come in to help out, but of course the Lotus is going to be an issue. And Lotus will wipe them all out, making sure the crab is perfectly safe. As the fleas do come in here and do try to deal with them. But again, it's probably not going to be enough. That crab, two more shots than the commander, and they themselves are armored. It won't be enough. The fleas do not have enough. They're trying. They're distracting the Lotus. It's dealing some damage, but ultimately it is not going to work. As Pet Turtle's commander is two shots away from death. One shot away from death, forced to retreat, not able to take the center expansion, at least able to put the crab tower in the center of the map. But again, the attrition win is for Izzeride. Especially the Thunderbird. Okay, Thunderbird coming in here not dealing enough damage to do much of anything, but good try. Still, though, that is like the center. That's Izzeride taking the center. They can position from that while Pet Turtle tries to sneak around the bottom and hope for the best, but it's still not very clear that's going to work. And Izzeride, with the air factor coming in here, they can start taking out the commander. And again, the commander is a very forward presence. I think without the commander, it's going to be a big difficulty for Pet Turtle to actually deal any damage. Oh, Pet Turtle coming in. Oh, really? Okay. Interesting. Because Pet Turtle pointed out they wanted to get Widows in their factory. And normally, if you hit the... Actually, it's the space button, not the alt button. Space inserts into the pack. Oh no, alt does. Oh, you're right. Alt does. Yeah, alt's supposed to at least. If you hold alt and you, and you click the icons or hit the or hit the hockey, it's supposed to insert it in front of whatever's being built for infinite build or in replacement for whatever's being built if you're not doing infinite build. And yeah, widows would have been really useful. Though even then, it seems like the hermits were a good choice. They're trying to break through as Izzeride, despite the economic advantage, they haven't been able to hold on especially well in a way that's leaving their main base wide open. I mean, again, Pet Turtle, they had broken the center through. Izzeride took the sides, but now Pet Turtle taking the bottom on top of that. It's still a little bit hard to call. And Izzeride still has the economy, but... Oh, Pet Turtle could get that Widow. That would have been great. I am kind of surprised, though, that the alt key doesn't work. I, I expected it would. So that's a weird bug. I'd report that. I haven't had a chance to test it because I would have found that too if I'd been if I'd had a chance to play the game in the last little while. Because I use that insert into queue feature all the time. At any rate, Pet Turtle, they're still behind, but they're still holding on. But they are still behind, and the crab now going forward from Izzeride. Taking out some of the reinforcement forces, meaning that the north side is going to have a much easier time defending itself as Pet Turtle's forces are being intercepted. 
Trying to go back to get rid of that crowd to stop the interception does mean that now Izarod can secure the center and secure the northwest. Probably retake the southeast, as, or the south, full south, the, the center south as well. And from there, it looks like it is going to be Izzeride's game to take. So long as we're able to hold on to this crab, as long as we're able to hold on to this assault. And of course, the Thunderbirds up here are just going to do loads of work if anything starts to get out of hand from Petrol's side. So really, right now, Petrol is... Like, they're desperate. They're sending out... They're sending out some Hermits. Though Those have been useful, but not especially great. And I was like, are Thunderbirds going to come in? Are they just going to destroy the Hermits and stop everything? Or what are they going to do? And it may not matter. Petrol throws in the towel. G just exited the game, apparently. Oh, right, because I... Yeah, replay thing. Petrol throwing in the towel after fighting from a disadvantage for the entire game. But hey, that was still a pretty pretty good fight. I mean, they, they held on. And it wasn't clear whether or not they'd lose. Because again, last game they held on and then won. But ultimately, Izzeride's early economic advantage gave them the advantage. And Izzeride just took just stuck with it. Never really let it slip by them. And that was the great thing here. That made Petrol have a much harder time dealing with this. But, one way or the other, that is game, and also, that is going to be it for the stream tonight. I have stuff to do pretty quick, so I've a little bit of a short stream, but thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.